In this video, I would like to show you guys how to create a page that we'll be able to insert into our menu. So what we'll start is by going into the Organize folder here. that will bring us to our main folder where all the content on the website is here. I normally, the way I work, is I create a folder that I put my page into. It is easier to work with the menu that way. I'll show you in a minute. So let's start. I'm going to create a folder in within the page folder. Make sure this is highlighted. And then I will call this uh, the test folder. Make a description. It will be the test page. If I have uh, keywords that's going to be in within this folder, I can write it there. I can choose an image that will be uh, displaying the folder. Let's say I go to the gallery. This is where all my pictures are. I'll choose the wildlife, the first one. Why not choose that pick up pictures? If I want to change the URL, let's say it's going to be the test folder. Can do it this way. It needs to start with a capital letter, so we're going to go with it. Do it. And we're going to create this folder. Now, within my page at the bottom, I have this test folder. I'm going to click on this, and I will create my page that will be inside this folder. So I'm going to title this page the "Test Page." Uh, if you plan to uh, do some review on Canon camera, you can if you want. Right, Canon camera. This is uh, for search on Google, stuff like that. So the keywords you'll find into your page. Again, if you want the image, I'm going to go back to my pages. Why don't we choose a different photo? I'm going to go to landscape. Let's say I want this image, postal image. Here. All right. Now, if I go take a look, I created this test folder and I have this test page. So if you do click on this, you can always change the settings by pressing settings here. We're back to those settings we just entered. I'm going to press done. And then Smogmog will bring us straight to this page. Now this is what you see into this page. Now I have the logo, the menu, and the icon is what you see on every page on my site. The only content I see right now is this breadcrumbs. So let's change this. We're going to go to Customize, Content and Design. So this is where you go to add stuff to your page. So we're going to click first on Entire Site. Entire Site is what you see on every page on your site. So my logo, menu, and my social icons, all in red boxes, meaning what you see in red is what you see on every pages. Now we're going to click back to just this page, so we're going to alter just this page. On this page, then you'll find my logo, my menu, social icons on everything, and then what's in blue now, the breadcrumbs, is what we have on this page. Let's say I do not wish to see the breadcrumbs there, I can delete by pressing the garbage, or I can go right on top of it and then remove the content block. Now you can add stuff, so everything is called content blocks, everything comes with a block. So let's say we want to add some photos, a single photo. So you're going to drag and drop where you want it. Right now we only have the two options, put it at the bottom or the top. So we're going to put it on top, a title for this photo, we're going to call this photo, let's say Vancouver, and we're going to go to the photo. And there are the pages, I have my galleries, and within the gallery of my cityscape, and then I have my Vancouver photo. And then you can change things like the size of the title, uh, title go to the center, so there's a lot of customizing you can do. Every time I put a photo there, what I'm trying to do is just play with it, see what works best for me. And then we're going to press done. Now, if this is what we see on our page so far. If you want to, you can always go back to this block and then the wrench option here, if you press on it, then you can always go back to change the thing and then the dimension is to change the dimensions of your picture or change the picture around. You can always move this block there. So this, this is what we have on the page so far. If you want to preview, you can press the preview button here on top right and this is what your page will look like. I'm going to exit this, 
to go back to our editing so let's say now we want to add some text so you press on the text and then they'll ask you where do you want to put it it's a block so left or right your picture top bottom so let's say we want to put that one on the right side and then this open and you can write this is Vancouver and basically from there just write whatever you want and it's going to be there same thing we can change if we don't like the spacing of this or where it is you can drag things around let's say I want it down the bottom that's better for me let's leave it there now we are satisfied with this page what we can do is trying to integrate this page into the menu now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the entire site and we're gonna go to this menu here and with the option tool I'm gonna press on this and then we're gonna go to links then you can see here those are all my links to my menu so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna press the plus button and we are gonna choose link two. we're gonna go here page and then they ask you to pick one I'm gonna pick one page so I can go to the page folders into the tests folder will be my test page there we go and then the title for this we're gonna say it is test page do you want this to open a new tab or not that's your preference then we're gonna go back if you want to make any order change if not we're gonna press done and now this is it if we preview this this is our page Vancouver with our text this is Vancouver let's say we go back to our home page and then we would like to go back well at the end here this is our test page into the menu this is it so this is how you create your page if you are happy with it that's great you can publish now if you're not too sure about this page and you want to basically delete it you can basic you can say save for later publish all discard changes I'm going to save it for later because I do not wish to publish this on the web right away and then I will go to organize into my pages folder I will choose the test folder here make sure you select and it's gray and delete they'll ask you if you want to delete the test the test folder I say I want to delete permanently I will press delete forever and this is it I am back to where I was I'm gonna press done I am happy with this it is now gone from my menu and it's gone from my website so this is how you create a page and you get rid of it so keep watching if you want to learn more about Smugbug. Thanks, guys.